Sixth grader Scott and I are both experienced runners. We know how to. <laughs> yes, because man, we are we are practiced are, are at you it. Are kind of implying that there's a problem? Is well, there there might have been problems in the past, even but, with but, history lessons. Yeah, there even and, and I have to tell you, today's segment actually came to us uh, because we were we were talking in the car, and all of a sudden the kid combines a little bit of science and history. Go, Scotty, tell Mr. Coburn. Okay, so in 1872, well, I go to school in Littleton, and we, as part of Littleton history, we learned about the rough and ready flour mill, and in 1872, the entire flour mill caught fire and oh, no. exploded. Oh, was your father there? No. Well, that's no, amazing. Mr. Kobrick was. He was yeah. the plant was an employee. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's so, not funny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, but there have been a lot of green elevator explosions, yeah. right? And what's it called? Um, it's called a uh, Dust. Dust explosion. Oh, and oh. so from the grain. Yeah, if the yeah, grain catches the grain. fire. Yeah. So we thought we'd recreate that today. Why wouldn't oh, we? Well, so put on your safety glasses. Oh, You've got right. a fire extinguisher next to you just oh, in case yes, there's a I problem. Do. Uh, instead of using flour, now here's the thing. If I took a, a bucket of flour and tried to catch the bucket of flour on fire, it doesn't catch on fire. But huh. as soon as you distribute it in the air, then it does catch on fire. It's like taking a uh, log and trying to catch that one thing on fire or breaking it up into kindling. So we've done this with a spore. This is a spore called lycopodium. And so special mm -hmm. effects artists use this a lot. So here is lycopodium. Oh. So if I take like a little pollen. bit of lycopodium and I put it here yeah. on the table and now I try to catch the lycopodium on fire, nothing happens uh -oh. at all. See, it doesn't catch on fire. No. But the f moment you distribute it in the air, oh. then you get something else. All right, so Scotty, you got your safety glasses on? I do. All right, so yeah, Go one little it. grain catches the next, or one little piece catches the next one, catches the next one. So it looks something like this. Here, watch what happens. Oh! oh! Pretty amazing. Oh, oh, See? Awesome, awesome. So if you can imagine <laughs> that release of energy, isn't that crazy? That was crazy, yes. I know, a little right, wild. Yes. So, so then I thought, well, there'd be another way to distribute it. So I learned this from a special effects artist. So this kind of goes in here like this. So here's our lycopodium that goes in here. So again, the real danger is the fact that it's distributed in the air. And once the little grain, if you can imagine a grain elevator, here's why it exploded. Imagine a, a grain elevator not having good ventilation back then. If a spark at all sets something off, one catches the next. Oh. So it's a chain reaction. Oh, if you saw this in slow motion, it would be pretty crazy. But here, watch this. I'll do it right to the camera. Watch. <laughs> Oh. Isn't that wild? It goes. <laughs> that is wild. great. But then we thought, you know what, why don't we recreate the why green not? elevator, right? Why I mean, not? Yes. All right, so here's Indeed. what we have here. So, Mr. Kopark, look down inside. You can see we've got some candles oh, inside yes. the can. Yes, we got do. It? Yes. So I'm going to light these on fire here okay. like this. Right. So there's no problem with that. Hey, uh, Scotty, give me your shoe. I need your shoe, buddy. Okay. Okay, got that. So I need there your you shoe. Go. Got it. <laughs> All right, so just in case, so I'm just lighting this on fire so we just have a little. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. All right, so now I think this we've put. This is not an advertisement. Yeah. No, no, it's no. not an advertisement. <laughs> it's good. So you see we're putting the lycopodium oh, inside. Oh, that, that was, oh, so that be was careful. close. Be careful. Be careful. We're fine. Okay, got it? Yes. Okay, feeling good? So now this goes on here like this. Okay. We kind of push it down. Like and then the grain elevator. it like this. You kind of. Oh, good, good. Oh, that's good. That's now good. Now let's see if there's enough there. I don't know if there's enough. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh! Kyle. I saved you again. I saved Thank you right you. again. Most of the Spangler you. boys do not have eyebrows. Uh, but, but that's how it, I'm the Mr. lucky Cobra, one. Mr. Cobra, can you tell them about the website? I'll let you. All right. So you can do one. All, all right. of Steve's experiments, of course, are on the very... Oh, there's something floating down from the ceiling. Oh, uh, it's fine. ...are on the uh, colorful website at 90s.com. Sp the Spangler Science website. Stevie, thank you. It's kind of great you. to see you again. Go ahead and blow on that one. Okay, you ready? Watch this. Not all. The wizard is not at home. We'll be right back. It's leaning. Grain's coming out of the side of it now. It's falling more. Get back, Dad! Get back, Grandpa! Get back! Get back! Drop pipe just fell off of it. Oh, shit. It's buckling the frame of the superstructure, knocking the tin off the superstructure. Oh. 
There's all kinds of shit. You can pack up some more. It's getting ready to fall. Yeah. Set back some more. Yeah. There she goes. Yeah. There it goes. Son of a gun. Another day at the farm. Uh, we had a hopper fire today at a wood manufacturing plant. Wood crews finally got here. Uh, on arrival, uh, we had fairly heavy smoke coming out of a hopper uh, that had some wood product in it. And what happened when you guys opened the hopper? Uh, as we were working through the hopper, uh, there was a slight dust explosion that occurred um, as we were trying to mitigate the fire. And was everybody okay? Yeah, everybody is fine. So what is that dust explosion? Like what happens? It's just uh, the dust meets oxygen and catches fire at a rapid pace. Is there? Is it very hot? Is it dangerous? Uh, it can be very dangerous. Uh, it has a bit of a concussion feel to it, but it uh, again, it, in the wrong conditions, it can really hurt somebody. And yeah. once again, everybody was okay? Everybody's fine, yeah. And the fire's now under control? Uh, fire right now, we're uh, still working on it, uh, just making sure it hasn't entered the building. And how how much of a cleanup and uh, overhaul is this going to be? Uh, it should be finally, most of it looks like it's contained to the hopper itself, so shouldn't be take long.